Okay, Andy, so uh, now we're going to demo the HMTV1 from Real Realware. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. So this one is mounted on a, what we call a bump cap. I'm going to put it on my head like so. I have six degrees of freedom here with this uh, boom arm that I can move it out, in, this way, that way, back, forward. So I'm going to get it nice and comfortable for me. Out of my field of view, because we know that augmented reality has too much augmented and not reality, so I want my reality to be kind of unabated. And I want my dashboard down below my line of sight. So now I'm looking down at the exact screen you see behind me because I'm mirror casting uh, exactly what I see onto the main television. Mm -hmm. So um, now I'm completely hands-free at this point. I can drive the system by uh, barking commands at it basically and I've got uh, sort of a system here in place that it say what you see. So there are a couple features that you need to know about it uh, before I get started is that uh, there's some general kind of global commands. And one is navigate home, and that'll take us to the home screen. I'm already on the home screen, that's why nothing happened. So um, if you ever want to know what commands are global commands, you just can say show help. And you see there on the screen, navigate back, navigate home, and a couple others like that. So if you're lost and you want to know what commands I can say, say the words show help, show help and you can see what commands are available globally, okay? So let's start out and I'll just take you through uh, the menus here that we have. The main menu and where all your applications are stored under uh, the, the button here uh, called My Programs. So now I have a number of programs, third-party applications. You can see the FLIR application for thermal camera. You can see Skylight. You can see Workflow Plus. Um, I think we have the Interware program on here. So, I'm sorry, the um, Interware is Workflow Plus, and then we have somewhere on here we have the uh, OSI Soft as well. Porsche, there it is. So we have a number of different third-party applications because again, this is an Android tablet. So they already had Android applications, and we just took them and made them voice instead of Android. They're now well, voice driven. Um, navigate back. Okay. Now the next uh, button you see, or the next uh, icon, is my camera. So now let's take a look at what John's doing, shall we? Oh, well, John is filming me, so I'm filming John, and John's filming me. So one thing about saying the commands when you're using it, you want to take a pause before your command and a pause after, so that if you're just talking like streaming like I'm doing, trying to show this thing off, it doesn't get it as a command. You have to have a silence, a second silence before and after. My files. So here's where I'm going to store all my documents. Um, I might have a, uh, like I showed a little bit before, a uh, wiring layout. Here's a wiring diagram, uh, fully zoomed out. I can't really see what I'm looking at here. If I say zoom level three, okay, now I'm in pretty darn close. So I'm looking around, uh oh, that's what I need to rewire. Freeze document. Okay, frozen in on there. I can see what color wires I need to do. I need to do through my thing. If I don't need it right now, I just need a snack. I can move it further out of my way or flip it completely out of my way so that I have uh, totally hands-free and totally sight unabated. Oh, I forgot which wire's next. I bring the display back up to my eye, glance down, and I do the next procedure. Okay, this could also be a training video. So let me back out of this. Navigate back. Now, this training video is a really fun training video, but uh, let's look at that one down in the bottom left corner there, Iron Man. No, Iron Man 1. So this one's training me, I guess, on how to build an Iron Man suit or something in the background, so video pause. So I can pause the video, I can rewind the video, I can stop the video. This could be a safety video that could be automatically triggered when I walk into a dangerous spot. I could have a Bluetooth beacon linked to my uh, HMT-1, triggers a safety video, says, hey, remember before you get into this area not to do these three things. Or it could be an instructional video. This is how the guy before you did this uh, uh, procedure, follow the procedure, look down at the video, and then repeat the procedure yourself. What if uh, I'm you know, and a very loud uh, industrial. That's a plant. great question. So we have four digital microphones that we've placed in a very, very sophisticated, so our main uh, intellectual property and, and trade secrets are how to place microphones around a system to triangulate the voice to the speaker that's wearing the actual system. 
versus listening to a jet engine or something. And I find that actually with noise in the background, it's actually a little bit better than when it's quiet. Because when it's quiet, you know, the echoes off the wall and stuff, if you have a background sort of level of noise, the voice that it picks up is a lot more accurate. And it works very well up to about 95 to 100 decibels. So at that sort of a, a, a loudness, that's about as loud as it would be in a, a screaming loud bar with hundreds of people or sitting next to a jet engine on a tarmac or something. So extremely loud where you can barely hear yourself speak, it still works. So our technology and, and what we uh, do better than anyone is noise cancellation. We have four digital microphones that are trade secrets and our know-how and know exactly how to architect and place around the periphery and up in this boom arm so that we can filter out any background noise and triangulate the sound for the person that's wearing the device. So if you were to yell out, for example, uh, from where you're standing, my programs. My programs. Oh, they picked up on me. Let's try that again. Navigate back. Say it again. My programs. Say it again. My programs. Say it again. My programs. My programs. Magic. Okay, and not only that, so navigate back. Not only that, in very loud environments, 95 to 100 decibels, it actually creates like a noise floor that actually helps the system triangulate even better. So we can work without any issue, clear up to 95, 100 decibels, which is about the equivalent of a loud rocks uh, concert or a uh, uh, jet engine or something like that. So if you bring it up close to me, bring it in close. Let's try to get it as loud as you can. So. My programs, my files, Iron Man 1, All right. stop, video is stop. That's super yeah. impressive. Yeah. yeah. Navigate back. Okay. So, and and you know, you guys may or may not have been able to hear how loud that was, but next time I hear it, it's mm -hmm. pretty pretty loud. So, uh, we have a system in place in our office in Silicon Valley that we have these loud, booming speakers that uh, mimic uh, engine sounds or turbine sounds or mechanical like banging and stuff like that, so that we can make sure that it works flawlessly each time, every time that you're in a loud and noise environment that you're talking about. So, how easy is it? Uh, for someone like our editor Travis to use. Well, let's uh, remind him of the controls there across the screen and All right. uh, let's see what he can do. So I've never touched this thing before. Nope. It's really light. It's light, yeah, it's comfortable. Uh, Fits over my hipster glasses. Yep, keep your glasses on, safety glasses, reading glasses, long sighted glasses, it works with any sort of uh, protect protective equipment or you don't have to buy new glasses or anything like that for it. Does it it's fit on fedoras? Let's get, make sure you see all four corners. Can you see all four <laughs> corners clearly of the screen? Yeah. Yeah, so each person kind of has a more comfortable sweet spot, and then you just say what you see. So if you start out with... Uh, My files. There you go. Okay, you're trained. <laughs> <laughs> so now if you want to go into any of the ones to the right, even those are the whole categories. These are the last uh, used ones that were most recently called up. Uh, but you can go into, let's say, uh, the My Media and uh, see uh, more files. Uh, My Media. So now you have a whole bunch of files. So you can move from left to right. There's uh, some of our corporate videos, um, a couple movies in there. Oh, oh it falls triggered there. So apparently watching the All right, stop the video. You just, yeah. There you go. Go back. Let's navigate back. Navigate back. Yeah. A little more. Where's the button? Uh, it's over. It's a small button. Oh, okay. Nice. So it's tactile here. So yeah. If I knew where I was looking, I could go. Open camera. All right. You got to navigate back to the home. Navigate back. My camera. You want to stand right to the yeah. left. And you can zoom in on folks. Uh, in the room. Zoom in. Zoom level. We say zoom level one. Zoom level five. There's a close up. <laughs> There's Denea in the background. Hi, Denea. Zoom level one. And then what do I say? Like capture? Uh, take photo. It's down at the bottom there. Uh, take photo. And that's been stored. Very nice. 
start video. So this is very, very cool. Like, um, I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, stop video. Stop recording. Stop recording.